Okay then, here we are. Um, hopefully just finishing this off. Right, so let's um, move back into our perspective view. And we'll just have a, a few sort of final thoughts. So now we can play this animation and we can see, um, like the example that I showed you at the beginning, um, he's kind of hopping along very nicely, very happily. He loves it. Okay, and that will go on for as long as we want to do. At the moment we're only showing 200 frames, but if we were to put in a million there, he'd just hop on forever. Which is great. Um, the other things that you sort of need to know um, before we wrap this up is that at the moment we can still see all these joints and that. So if you were done with those, you could just um, choose not to show the joints or the IK handles. And then you'd just be able to see that animation. So all the joints are still there, still doing their job, but we can no longer see them. Which is groovy. Okay, um... The other thing you can do to make this look cool, I won't be able to preview it because I'm working on a laptop which is a piece of crap, um, but if you've got a laptop with a um, DirectX certified graphics card, you'll be able to do it. Um, and what that is, is to create a light, um, get a spotlight, and put that in um, the lamp you've created. So let's just have a look at this, um, just quickly, let's put it place, rotate it, make it a bit bigger, and then turn the cone angle up as well to match. So that will now shine a light out of your light that will look very cool. What you'll also want to do though is just knock your pin number angle up to about 5, 5 or 6, something like that, and that will soften the light when it hits something. Then it's very worthwhile putting in a floor for that light to hit um, as he moves along um, which again will also look very nice and very cool so if you um, have got a decent graphics card to be able to see that if you just click on lights and then turn on this high quality rendering there you go it's not supported by my graphics card so I can't see it but you'll see some very cool looking light if you do that um, if not if you've got a rubbish graphics card like me, the best way is to just render one frame off um, and you'll see the effect of the light. You'll also see that um, you need to add a second light um, to be able to see your lamp. So that would be um, create lights and we'd have an ambient light, I think. So we just move that up, move it to the back and um, knock the intensity down to about 0.5 render it again so there you go <clears throat> you can now add that so what you would only need to do to make sure that that looked kind of nice is parent your light if i can select the light where's the light come on light there you go shift select the head of the lamp and press p and that means that and you'll be able to see it as i press play um, the light will go with it as will where it's being shone so if you've got a decent graphics card and preview that you'll see that, that looks pretty nice um at that point, I would recommend setting up a nice camera to follow it um, and creating a play blast by right-clicking on your playhead and going to play blast. And that previews your animation and allows you to output it. If you do do that, I'd be very interested to see what um, some of your efforts look like. So please um, reply to the video um, with your effort. Oh dear. <laughs> Make sure... Um, that you set your play blast settings up properly otherwise it'll go on the squiff apparently um but please upload them so that i can see them and um, post them to the facebook page um but other than that well done you've learned how to animate using skeleton uh, and you've got a nice little lamp hopping along out of a deal right cheers <laughs>